next guests are a really cool couple who renovate homes and revitalize small towns. Check them out. Fort Morgan faces a lot of the same problems as most of small town America. It's a place where people work and sleep. There's not much else to do. There's no real emotional connection to the town, and that makes it impossible for the town to thrive. We're taking on a record 18 projects in just four months. So we're going to transform six houses for community leaders, six businesses that need a boost, and six community projects to instill town pride. When we opened this place, we had like $100 in our account. To be able to have this opportunity is everything. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Please welcome the host of HGTV's Hometown Takeover, Ben and Aaron Napier. Come on out! You guys were college sweethearts? We were. Okay, it's so we're still your love story. Sweethearts. I see that. That is so beautiful. I want to hear about your love story. Okay. How sweet is that? Oh, yeah. There we Damn, are. Wow. You had so much hair. <laughs> um, it's all on his back now. And <laughs> <laughs> here. And here, yeah. Um, I, love, I love it. All yeah, of it. I know you do. <laughs> Yeah, we, we met in college because I was the yearbook design editor and we were doing stories on the 10 most interesting people on campus and everyone collectively voted Ben Napier. We got to do a story on that guy. And I was like, I can be there for the interview that day. I had the <laughs> biggest crush on him for like two years. It was, like a, it was like a year and a half and I had had a crush on her also. But, um, we, didn't. but we didn't know it that she and I, so... Yeah. So then we met to talk about the yearbook story, and then six days later decided we would get married. <laughs> yeah. Right? Six days later, so you just knew, huh? We knew, knew, and we've been inseparable since. Yeah. And now we get to work together? Yeah. You get to work together, do what you love. Yep. And, and you do it in your hometown. We do. Like, my hometown, not his. I don't really have a hometown, now. but yeah, yeah oh. Laurel is my hometown. Yeah. And, so. and why, I mean, it's your hometown, but what was the main reason why you wanted to end up there to do it? To because start? I went to art school and because people... Because she's stubborn. Yes. <laughs> they are so cute. Because I don't like to be told what I can and cannot do. And people said, you cannot have an art career yeah. in Laurel, Mississippi. And I said, well, watch, you know? And so we went back home and... We worked really hard joining Laurel Main Street, which was working at Downtown Revitalization. Mm -hmm. And he became president of that for a while. And I did pro bono design work for Main Street and designing murals to get people to shop downtown. And so it became sort of our like... Sort mm, of a game. A game. How far can we yeah. take it towards making our town healthy again? Yeah. We never imagined this. So why is it important to revitalize towns? Uh, so with small town America, you tend to get overlooked. I mean, like we're, mm -hmm. we're here in LA. Yes. It's a phenomenal city. We love it. We love New York. We love Chicago. We love Boston. We love all these towns. I mean, cities. Um, but there's a big part of America that gets missed in that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, to us, that's the flavor of America is the small towns and, I mean, uh, why are people obsessed with all those Christmas movies, right, that always happen in a small town, right? Yeah. Mm. There is this yearning that we have for a simple, slower life where we intimately know our neighbors, right? And so that's the story that we wanted to tell. We wanted the world to see small town living doesn't have to be small-minded. Yes. That it can be... Mm. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You got to yeah. You got to speak. Hey. There is so much to be said about what's special about living in small town America that I think pop culture overlooks in a lot of ways. And it's really easy to point out, you know, the bad what things. What we don't have. What we don't have mm -hmm. in small town America. But, and you know, it's like, oh, you know, in, in New York you have this and you can do this. We don't have a Thai that. fusion restaurant. <laughs> but. I know, I know. It's, it's but. Uh, <laughs> Our next door neighbor pays attention when we're out of town and they call and let us know if... You know, hey, someone was on your porch earlier. We know it was Aaron's mom. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just a different way to live when you live in a small town. You're more connected to community is something I think people are really longing for. Right. Yeah. Have you ever came across, like, weird field designs? Okay, so... Every single day. Every single day. However... The difference between Hometown and other shows is that we know the people who did it. Because oh. right. I've lived there my whole life. <laughs> so 
Well, on our show, you know, we referred, oh, you know, well, this is the Johnson house because, you know, so-and-so, and they lived here, and he worked here, and so we have to tread lightly. I was going to ask, like, yeah, how do you You don't it? go in there and say, look how ugly and stupid this is. Mm. You do not do that. So we say, oh, this is an interesting choice. You know, these people's design preferences are different from yours. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It was a very personalized choice. You see, we had some people from Mississippi that are like, uh-huh, you better watch it. Because you will run into them in the grocery store. Okay. 100%. Yes. And you'll run into them at church. You just don't want to have that conversation. I saw where you made fun of Mama's cabinet color. <laughs> and you say... She was so proud of that. I know she was, and it was a beautiful... She died five years after she put that in. You're like, I am so sorry. Because it so, can be sentimental or yeah. things like that. So you and, it, yeah. and, and we like to think that all design is personal. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think there is necessarily a design fail. I, I think there's interesting choices. <laughs> there are interesting choices, yes. Yeah. Well, look, okay, so we found some real, weird designs okay. from people's homes. Can we take a, a look yes. at a few yes. of them? Yes. And I want to see... Let's discuss. How y'all... Love that. Discuss okay. it. We'll okay. Yes. Look, check out this bathroom. Hmm. Now, can we put carpet in the bathroom? What's, now, what's the deal? you used, you know, carpet... Cozy. In, cozy for your feet. Carpet That's in the bathroom nice. used to be a trend. And my parents' house had carpet in the bathroom. And then, because it was not the it's choice not that was right for them, mm. we took that out. Yeah, we put in hardwood. And this is a marvelous <laughs> choice. <laughs> For this see? family. See how we spend that? I yeah. see. I like it. Y'all taking notes. Okay, I got another bathroom for you. Okay. Look at this one. Mm. Wow! Oh. That bathroom is in the... Wait, the bathroom is... This okay. is a yeah. deep face. Okay, now There's please no way tap your head with this. So, now, Whoever did thing. this... No, this is real. Because we all love having <laughs> fresh bacon in the bathtub. I want okay. to get popped by the grease from the skillet while I'm uh, in the bathtub. Or, you know, yeah. Mm. But you know what? They made tasteful choices with their paint on the cabinets. And it's... That's a polite way around it. And that's... I just think this picture's fake. Okay. No, she it's don't real. believe it. I can't believe in this. It's okay. real. Well, Erin, let me give you another one. And I love that clawfoot tub. Oh, no, I don't know what, What's it. happening here? Like, they converted it into, like, a urinal. Can you even use that? It's a half-half bath. Okay, take another look at this other one. Oh, gosh. Now, what's happening? It's a very special Oh, is stage. that a Kincaid? It's a, is that yeah, a, uh... it's a real Kincaid. Um, I love it. It's, that's in the area where your kids can put their shoes neatly stacked. Ooh. You put yes. the smallest shoes at the top. Find another way to revitalize it. Yes. Upcycle. Yes. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.